Hi, this is Daniel Maresca here from South Country Central School District. Just to show you quickly how to get into Google Hangouts for meetings between other Google account holders. First, in the top right hand corner, by your name where you logged in, you can see the Google Apps icon. You click on that and scroll down and you will see the icon with the apostrophes in green that says Hangouts. Click on that, it'll bring you to a page uh, where you're able to initiate chats for simple IMing between people or groups, video conference calls, conference phone only, or to send messages within this forum. So first to start, we'll go with a video chat initiation. Uh, you would go ahead and click on that icon you're brought to a window where it says you can either join or start a meeting and if you have nothing in your schedule this is the way that it's going to look you click on join or start and here we can go ahead and leave this blank or give it a nickname we will call it test one and this will take a second automatically bring you in and open up your webcam if you have one enabled now what we do is not there yet we click on the join now icon and then we're prompted with the meeting details both the web link and a dial-in phone number with a pin there's a easy option right here this is copy the joining info what this does is it adds it to your clipboard that you can go ahead and paste that in an email to anybody you want and then in addition we can go ahead and add anybody down here uh, with a Google account keeping in mind this portion of invite will only apply to people who have Google accounts you can also provide that telephone number from the prior screen in the link that we copied to our clipboard to anybody outside of Google so they can dial in while in the district as you can see when you start typing in a name you will find that your contacts will show up right here. You can continue to add somebody who is not in district, again, if they have a Google account from here. See, as I typed in their email, and I can click Add Recipient, this is, again, somebody who is not within the district. If they're within the district, you can just go ahead and click on their name after starting to type it in. And now I'm going to click on send invite. Now that person got an email in their Google account and also in their Google Hangouts to say that they have a pending meeting. Now after that person has joined up here we're going to go ahead and see that there's more participants here and again this is where we can also add people from that top right hand corner and continue to add participants or give a phone number to call for instance if we type in 631 Seven thirty, fifteen twenty-seven, and I go ahead and click on the call button. What that's going to do is going to go ahead and ring the telephone, uh, and Google will automatically say that they've uh, joined a conference within Google. So it is easy for you to add phone participants without them even having to click on anything. When they hang up, it'll go ahead and show you that their phone number has hung up in the corner. Now, clicking inside of the screen will also just bring us back and close all of those sub-screens that we open up for different options. If we wanted to go in and present our desktop to the people who are actively participating with video conferencing from Google, we can go ahead and click on anything from sharing a window to sharing an entire screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on an entire screen. When I click on that, if I have multiple monitors, it's going to ask me which screen I want. I'm going to double click on the screen one. Now at this point, I am sharing everything that shows up on the screen to everybody else. You'll still see my picture up here and everybody else who's in this meeting. Once I'm done sharing my desktop, what I can do is at the bottom here where it says that I'm sharing my screen, I just simply click on stop sharing and it comes back to all of the videos. When you want to be done with this, you can simply X out and it will bring you back to this Google window 
and again you can start the process all over again. Uh, I will be adding a few more videos for a couple other functions and features and if you have any questions you can leave some comments down there and when I get around to it I will go ahead and reply. Thank you.